Hello everyone, Pedro from MyColorScreen.com giving you another Android home screen tutorial but it's not going to be on any regular Android home screen it's going to be on a screen of the day by Ryan T. Blake it is named Clock now it uses these stunning UCCW and desktop visualizer icons which to me look like eye candy on any Android device but you know what I always say, enough of me talking let's get this gorgeous screen of the day onto your Android device right now Alright, the first thing we're going to do to get this beautiful home screen onto your device is we're going to hop right into our Nova settings or Apex settings, whatever launcher you prefer. We're going to go into desktop, and our desktop grid is going to be a 12 by 6. Then we're going to make sure our width margin and height margin are both set to medium. We're going to shut off our persistent search bar, and we're not going to show the shadow. Make sure that we have two home screens. Our scroll effect is going to be accordion. We're going to make sure that we can resize all our widgets. We're going to hop out of that and go into dock. We're going to shut it off completely, but even when it's off, we're going to make sure that we do not show our scroll indicator. After that, we're going to go into look and feel, and we're going to uncheck show notification bar so we can have a nice, clean look to it. Next, we're going to be setting our wallpaper so we can actually make it two walls instead of just one. We're going to be using multi-pick live wallpaper. Hold down to our home screen and select wallpapers. Go down into live wallpapers and select multi-picture live wallpaper. We're going to go right into our settings. And if you guys downloaded all the files that you need down below, which includes all the walls and widgets needed for this screen, we're going to make sure that we have two screens. When we have two screens, it should be popping up right here. We're going to go into screen one settings. We're going to select picture source, single picture, and we're going to navigate to where we put those files. I'm going to make sure that the first screen is the clock. It's also called BG Clock 2. Select that. Make sure our crop size and our ratio is going to be fit the full screen. Uh, our saturation is going to be 100% no change, and our opacity is going to be 100% no change. And after that, we're going to hop right back and go into our screen 2 settings. Same thing, picture source, single picture. Go down, and this time we're going to select the one that does not have the clock, or BG Clock 1. We're also going to make sure that we do not touch our background color, but we go down to crop and resize ratio to fit the full screen. Saturation is going to be 100%, and our decrease opacity is also going to be 100%. When that is done, we're going to go down to transition type, and we're going to shut it off since we already set our own transitions in Nova Launcher. Everything else can be leaving it alone. And then there you have it, we're going to set our wallpaper. Now we're going to be finally setting up our ultimate custom clock widgets. We're going to be holding down our home screen, going to widgets, scroll down to ultimate custom clock, and then we're going to select a 4x1. Make sure that you transferred all the UZIPs needed into your phone. Then over here we're going to select UZIP. And then we're going to select battery clock. I already have it so it's going to overwrite. And I'm going to simply tap right here. And we're going to bring this all the way up to the upper right corner. And resize it accordingly. When that is done we're going to go into our next ultimate custom clock widget. And it's also going to be a 4x1. And then we're going to select use it. And we're going to make sure we select home clock. I already have it, so I'm going to overwrite it. Tap here, and we're going to resize this accordingly. So make sure it fits into the screen correctly. You don't want it too big. You just want it the perfect size, just like that. Next, we're also going to go right back into our widgets. Scroll down to Ultimate Custom Clock, and we're going to make sure that this is another 4x1 Ultimate Custom Clock widget, and then we're going to select Use It, and we're going to select Typo Clock, Overwrite, and then there you go, Typo Clock, and we're also going to put this right on top, and resize it accordingly, make sure that it fits, and there you go. We're also going to add one more widget, and this is going to be for our second screen, which is going to be the counters on the bottom. 
hold down our screens, go into widget, go down to ultimate custom clock. This is going to be another 4x1. Hit use it, and we're going to make sure we select notif clock. Overwrite, tap it, and we're going to bring this right down here. And there you have it. Alright, now on our second screen, we're going to be adding two more ultimate custom clock widgets. They are going to be a 4x1. And then we're going to select use it on the top right. We're going to navigate to batteryclock.usip. Overwrite it. Tap here and then it should pop up right here. And now we're going to resize this on the top right. So it's just like the first screen. Then now we're going to be adding another ultimate custom clock widget. Scroll all the way down. And it's going to be another 4x1. And now for this one, when you hit use it, we're going to select typo clock, use it. Override it since we already have it, touch here, and then we're going to put this on the top and we're going to make sure that we center it accordingly, just like that. Now that we have all that set up, we're going to be setting up our power toggles. We're going to hold down our screen, go into widgets, and we're going to scroll all the way down to power toggles. It should be a 4x1 and you guys can select whatever toggles you want. I'm going to remove this for, for my own personal sake and remove this also. I'm going to go down to button colors. We're going to select the first color here. And we're going to make sure it's all the way white. I'm going to set our color. Then for this color, it's going to be a holo blue, but we're going to be changing it to this hex code. It's going to be FF06E. Seven C five, and there you go. It should be that turquoise color. Select set a background fill. We're gonna make sure that's all the way transparent. And our button dividers, we're going to shut them off to hidden. When that's done, we're gonna select done, and we're just going to resize this accordingly down in our bottom. And there you go. All right, now we're going to be adding another power toggle widget. Then we're gonna go down to power toggles. And then we're gonna make sure that we delete all these toggles. There will be one last one left, which you can't delete. But we're going to add one, add a toggle. And in the list of toggles, we're going to go down to screen lock. It is, yep, right there, screen lock. Then you can finally delete the other toggle. We're going to make sure the button is transparent. And that our background fill is also transparent. And that we're going to not show the button dividers. Now this can get a little tricky because when you're done, it's going to be invisible. But I'm pretty sure it will be right in this corner. There you go. It's right there as exactly where you need it to be so you can simply just tap that it will ask you to activate it and then from there on I can simply tap that and then it locks the screen now we're also going to be doing this for the second screen so you can set that up accordingly next up we're going to be setting our desktop visualizer icons we're going to be holding down our home screen select widget and we're going to go down to desktop visualizer and we're going to select a 2x2 two two desktop visualizer. And we're going to set that accordingly. We're going to be adding 5 more, 2 more under this, and 3 more over here to the side. It's almost like it's a 6 pack of desktop visualizer icons. And when we're done with that, we're going to set each one accordingly. Alright, now that you have those all set accordingly, we're going to be selecting the first one right here. And we're going to select an icon. And from our image files, now if you download all the files and put them to your phone, there should be a little folder that says icon. And then we're going to select phone. We're going to select our action. And our action is going to be the phone application. Right over here. We're going to clear the label. We're also going to make sure 
that we have a touch effect is going to be light blue and that our vibration is going to be on and then you go to select OK and there you have it. Now for the next one we're going to be setting up messages image file go back into the icon folder select message select an action launch application scroll down to your preferred messaging app I'm just going to be using the regular messaging app clear the label then we're going to make sure our touch effect once again is light blue and our vibration is going to be on select OK next one is going to be camera image file select to launch an application and you can select your camera application of choice clear label touch effect light blue vibration on select OK next one is going to be our email image file icon email select your preferred email client of choice clear the label once again touch effect light blue vibration on select OK now finally to our last two guys so we are finally done with this home screen I'm going to select image file once again I'm going to select search select an action launch application and I'm going to select Google search where is it there, whoop, there you go voice search clear the label touch effect light blue vibration on and yes guys our final final thing to complete this entire home screen now this is going to be settings same thing icon select our settings launch an application I'm gonna go all the way down into settings clear our label make sure our touch effect is light blue our vibration is on hit OK and there you have it guys this is clock by Ryan T Blake a very beautiful home screen I can select any single one of these and then launch I can actually set up uh, the inbox so when you go into your ultimate custom clock widget you're going to select your Gmail account but there you have it guys this is a very very beautiful home screen very minimal and yet it is very simple to set up with only not very little knowledge you need to know of any of these apps and there you have it guys this is Pedro from mycolorscreen.com make sure to follow us on our Google Plus page and that you subscribe and comment and I'll catch you guys later and remember don't stop customizing